Hi, I'm Wes, and I'd like to share with you a story. Today, I'll be reading Look With Your Eyes, Not Your Mouth by Randy Walker. This is a story about a kid who complains more than he observes. And when his mom takes him out into the world and makes him give it a second look, he realizes it's quite a strange place. Hey, that rooftop is in my way. Take it off, okay? I already tried, and I need to see what's inside. Oh, it's just Kid with his red lead educational toys. He doesn't leave home to play with the neighborhood boys. That's why they call him Kid. It's not complex. Kid stands for Kid in Duplex. There he is. There's Kid with his educational toys. What's he got there? He's got a microscope, a magnifying glass. Anyway, one day, Kid's mom, Joyce, who procrastinates, took Kid out trout shopping, which he very much hates. Kid roared till his face was sore. No more boring streets or boring stores or boring bitten brown apple cores. No more boring bad breath bookies wearing wide whale cords or boring bowling alley billboards. It's a staycation. Oof, wow, splat! That was a close one, Matt. Kid's mom yelled with a boom when they got home later that afternoon. Kid didn't know what in tarnation she was talking about. And what's a staycation? And what's with the trout? And, uh, who's Matt? Ah! Kid's mom did other strange things just then. She called up her best friend Cheryl. Again. Well, you wouldn't believe what happened in town. There was a capable, cowardly ice cream clown and a band of badly tanned booger butts letting loose a load of lousy Lincoln Log log nuts and a howling owl towel for a tourist taste tester and plus pooped out pirate policemen pawning a yawning pawn protester even a shape-shifting spaceship shopping shyster named Daryl! That was a silly page if I've ever read one. That's it! No more! Kid raced across the kitchen floor and slung open the parlor door. What are you talking about? He asked his mom in a very unlibrary voice. None of that happened, Joyce. There was no ship-shaped spaceship shopping shyster named Daryl. Now please stop lying to Cheryl. You didn't see what I saw in town, Kid's mom whispered back with a firm, furrowed frown. Here's the deal. Shift your butt, keep your eyes peeled, and your shout will shut. We're going out again then, leaving on the count of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And so, Kid's mom took Kid out along the very same route. There they go. Wow, look at all the faces. So colorful. Beautiful. To all the same places with all the same folks, with all the same faces telling all the same jokes. Only this time, Kid kept a lid on his mouth sounds while he bound around downtown. Let's see what these signs say. 
That one says dieting. And this says Dan's dirty diapers. Um, okay. And what did he see, you might ask me? He saw party pooping planners playing ping pong with gold panhandlers and haunted house arrests for hip hula hoop hoarding house guests. <laughs> he saw random tandem race car poolers picking pickles out of icky sticky ice cream coolers. This is just the silliest. And red roller coaster coasters for teetotaling toasty toasters. Not to mention a brow beaten brachiosaurus, belching chorus in a brackish brown broken Ford Taurus. And a hairless pair of rare Republican Pelican notary publics who barely wear worn Wild Western Christmas Carol apparel, talking to a shape shifting spaceship shopping shyster named Daryl. And when they got home, Kid said with a moan, My eyes are so tired, they need naps of their own. He's a sleepy boy. Getting a little sleepy myself. Kid's mom jumped up, picked up the phone, and said to her son over the dial tone, I should surely share this with Cheryl. We haven't spoken in hours. I'll mention the trout barrel and your observational powers. Eee! Oh, Cheryl. Then very calm, while applying lip balm, Kid said simply, I love you, Mom. To which Joyce replied as she was heading outside, Love you too, little boo, and that's bona fide. And Kid did not go out to play with the neighborhood boys. He went straight to his room to his educational toys. Cause let's be honest, okay? No one changes that fast, do they? And I'm going to stop. That's the end of this book. And what's that? A rooftop? Shall we take a quick look? And that's it. Look with your eyes and not your mouth by Randy Walker. <sighs> Do you think Kid really saw all those strange things? Or was it just a bunch of silly, funny rhymes? I know for one thing, I'm going to take a closer look the next time I go out in the world. We'll see you on the flip side. Peace.